introduce you first off to your judges. You have Kenny and then you have Judge John. All right, and then Yay. you have myself. I actually like the way that sounds. So uh, <laughs> here's what's gonna happen is uh, John's gonna do a direct connect from Zillow. He's gonna be Zillow. I'm gonna be the client and you're going to book me for the appointment. So uh, we're just gonna get right into it and then we'll go around the room and do some polishing points and critiques after. Awesome. All right, everyone's ready. I, Angela's beyond ready. I love this. So uh, <laughs> on three, we're gonna go ahead and kick this off. Three, two, one, action. All right, this is your phone ringing, Angela. Ring, ring. Good morning. Good morning. This is John from Zillow. I have Elias Estudo on the line, and he'd like to tour 123 Main Street in Oakland. Are you available to take the call? I am. All right, I'll connect you now. Ding. Good morning. Hello. Elias? Hello. Hello, Elias. Are you there? Hi. Hi, how are you today? I'm good. Great. I heard you're interested in touring 123 Main Street. Is that correct? That is, yes. Awesome. Tell me what you love about the house. Oh, it's in the Laurel and it's uh, it's in our price range and it's that part of Oakland's our favorite. Awesome. Is it because it's in the kids school area? What's going on? What's what's great about that area? I uh, just, you know, it's it's one of the prettier neighborhoods in Oakland. Awesome. Awesome. OK, have you toured any homes previously? Um, you know, we did a couple months back. OK, so let me tell you about what's going on during the pandemic okay. right now. I have to send you a paper that just says we're going to promise to practice social distancing. Um, once you sign that, I will confirm that spots available and no one else is in there. And then we can set that up. Is there any other homes you would like to tour today? Um, no, well, I don't know if there's a couple available. Yeah, sure. So let me get some more criteria from you and I will go and search up some homes that are in that area that mm -hmm. might be able that we might be able to tour today. Okay. All right. All right. I don't know where to go now. <laughs> Perfect. Don't break character. Keep going. Okay. So I will get your email. I believe you already sent it to Zillow. So I'll get your email from them and your phone number. I'll send uh -huh. you some additional listings. I will also send you the P that document that states we're going to promise practice or promise to practice social distancing. And you should hear from me within the next 10 minutes. Okay. And then Angela, do you think that that house is going to sell for over the 900 mark? Let me actually look into that. What I can do prior to us visiting that home is run some comps, see what other homes are selling for. And that way, when we're there, we can also maybe even drive past the other homes. Just, you know, take a quick look outside of, hey, this one went pending in three days and had 10 offers. That mm -hmm. way we can get an idea of what's selling and how fast. Okay. And then um, do I have to be pre-approved to go see these houses tomorrow? You should. But I'll take you, I believe everybody always gets one free showing. So definitely let's go and take a look. And then what I can do is introduce you to a few lenders that can help you get pre-approved within 24 hours. Okay. All right. So what's next, Angela? The next thing is I will send you over that document. I will schedule these showings. During that time, I will send you a Google invite that will tell you where we're going. It'll give you a list. And then I will also send you a couple more homes. And if any of them pop of Pop your interest, just let me know, and then I'll schedule those as well. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. I will talk to you soon. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Cut. Um, really good stuff. So, so Angela, I, I'm, I'm going to say this. <laughs> so, so, the fact that you were able to hop on in such a short time frame, obviously, hats off to you. Um, here's what's great about this this audition is that you truly sound like a natural, right? You haven't been in this business for that long but you have this sense of, it's like, I can read something on here or I can read the same thing and the other person on the other line has no idea that I'm reading. That's how I kind of felt, right? Even though this is new to you in this flow, like you have such a sense of being a natural, which is something we really can't teach. Heard some things in there that we've gone over, which was really cool. Um, and I said this with Joaquin on our first audition, your tone your tone has a sense of putting people at ease, right? It's this great tone. It's very nurturing the way that you come across. Um, so you started out what's going on since pandemic. It's too early for that, right? With the ALM, the idea is appointment, location, and motivation. You being this nurturer type of person, you want to find out that motivation. It's like tip of your tongue. You want to ask those questions. Tell me about the neighborhood. So those are the things why we're doing this is because you have to hold some of that back. Appointment first. Okay, perfect. What time do you want to go and see 123 Main Street? 
Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some information from the selling age or from the selling side and find out what's available for tomorrow. And you book it and then you follow up with the call about the PED. You can find out a little bit more about their motivation. So the first one is get that appointment locked in and then go in. But um, the one free showing, I like that. Uh, we could say, okay. you, know, <laughs> you know, hey, I'm not the agent that will turn you away. Uh, you know, I, I like to be here from start to finish to be your advocate throughout the home buying process, right? So it's not one for free. It's like, you know what, no matter what, I'm going to show you the home because I like to be an advocate from the start to the finish for my home buyers. So um, good stuff, Angela. I, I, I love I love how natural you sound on the phone. I'm going to turn it over to Judge John. Yeah, that was great. You definitely, <clears throat> you definitely did not sound nervous and you like, you flowed with everything really well. Uh, if we were just judging like a just straight up regular call like it, it would have been awesome and it was it was awesome we just with flex is a little different so like get, getting straight to the appointment is the biggest thing and even though you did like pack in some additional information that really we would save for kind of the follow-up once the appointment's set you still got through everything in, in a pretty concise way and like pretty fast and so you were you were prepared for the questions and you would like you were acknowledged them and answered them and then kind of moved on um so you know you kept the call probably under three to four minutes which is what Zillow wants to hear and you packed a lot in there and and you got to the appointment pretty quick but just remember with these calls like you don't need to ask them what they like about the home like you can find out more later and you can also make assumptions so when it comes to you don't need to ask them if there's any other homes that they've seen in the area you know that they're going to look at a three two you know that's 1500 square feet you can tell them like, you know, based on based on this home we're seeing, I think there might be a couple others in the area that we should check out. So if you could block off a little bit of extra time and I'll try to get us into those as well. And then just look for something similar. You can figure out based on one. I mean, if you're a little bit off, you're, you're a little bit off, but it's fine. You don't need to like go into their criteria too much on this first call. You can do that, you know, once you're seeing that first home with them. But that was really good. You, you didn't you didn't seem nervous. What I like to tell people too, when they because I'll show people if they're not pre-approved, but I like to tell them like, yeah, you should because the market moves really fast. And if you fall in love with this one, you might need to be in a position to write offer right away. So I just don't want, I want, I like my buyers to be pre-approved. So if they do need to write an offer, then we're ready to go. But I'll introduce you to some lenders that can pre-approve you pretty quickly. Um, and we can talk about that more at the property. But overall, that was that was solid, especially on short notice. At eight For sure. You know, you have a really good sense of like taking control, but you do it in such a friendly way it's that's it's a true skill right like being able to control a conversation is very hard you do it in a way that just oh okay yeah I'll, I'll go over there with you perfect yeah let's go see more houses so that's definitely a skill yeah so hear, hearing you was like hearing you i was like oh, okay i can see why she has five escrows already in the last like <laughs> <laughs> good stuff so uh judge kenny yeah i thought that, that was really great i mean the the tone's really good throughout i think you're like a high d high i type you know talkative but like uh taking charge uh, just lost me a bit when you start asking about, you know, what do you like about what, what you're looking for homes in the area kind of thing, because it kind of skewed off topic, but uh, none of it sounds scripted. So you're digging for answers without actually like sounding like you're digging for answers. So it's a very natural uh, conversation. It sounds very uh, like a very experienced agent, to be honest, where you can kind of pivot. And because uh, I always teach the team with ask, ask questions in ways that they're not normally asked or, or like what they expect. So like you just kind of just got all the things that you needed to. So kind of like LP Mama, instead of just landing on each letter, you're kind of like going like this and you did that very effortlessly. Uh, so I think with some tweets, it could be really, really good. Okay. Yeah, and I, I cannot tell you enough like how proud I am, how, <laughs> how proud John and, and Kenny are. Just to watch your growth since you've walked on the scene with us, it's just been incredible. So Kenny and